We also want to know which team you are supporting tonight. So scan this QR code. We're going to pop it on your screen right now. Take part in our live poll and stand a chance to win some super cool prizes. Or simply just log on to the GTH website. Tell us which team you're supporting tonight. You can also learn about the teams. That's gthracing.co.za. Graham and I have been based in Gauteng for some time, but we're going back to our roots tonight <laughs> because they call us Mellow Yellow. You remember that song by Donovan? Yes, I do. I was a great Donovan fan, in fact. I well, liked it in, you know, everything that he that he performed I was madly in love with. Well, we're mellow yellow tonight because we are on the Cape Stingers, but it's not going to be easy. Lovely captain, of course, Mark Kahn, like Gavin Lorena, steeped in history. He was a great rider. He's now in the twilight. I'm not sure he won't mind me saying that, but he'll bring experience, which is what you need as a captain. And I'm really looking forward to tonight's challenge. They're lining up for the first. It's over 1,200 meters. Gavin Lorena and Cape Princess have just gone in. He's in the red with the red cap. And uh, away they go from the 1,200 meters mark. And Nubbs Rus for the Gatimas is in front. Where's the party coming at Cape Princess and Nubbs Rus? It's where's the party down the inside. Cape Princess in the middle. Behind that on the outside is Nubbs Rus. Where's the party? And Cape Princess. Where's the party? Though too strong. And where's the party? Wins for the Stingers. Number six, where's the party? Wins for the Cape Stingers, but. As you say, second, third, and fourth are Gajimas, and then once again the Stingers. So I don't think there's going to be too much of this. Stingers yeah. and back in eights was the Gajimas, so it's going to be a very tight uh, point situation after the running of the first race. So there's the unofficial result. First number six wears the party for the Stingers. Second to number two, K Princess. Third number four, Joy to the World. Seven, Nabibsrus back in fourth. All three of those for the Gajimas. Then Central Tower, Adelante, and Royal Venus. First blood goes to the Stingers. Congratulations, Donald. You managed to keep your composure because she definitely wasn't an easy ride. No, she can get on her toes a bit. She's not the easiest, but I knew if I just asked her, she'd give me my all and I had to be patient about it. We deliberately start with these half-point races, but you were spot on. How close is that? Cape Stingers won the race, but they trail by two points because the Gauteng Kojimas ran second, third and fourth. Graham, I know you probably want to refresh your colours, uh, but while you're doing that, here's the story of the team tonight. We've touched on this last week, a real strong team that Gavin Lorena captains. He's got Diego de Gavea, Calvin Haber, two young riders, and then he's got the experience of Francois Herald, Tristan Godden, Cole Dickin, Jason Gates, Henny Hrailing, experience there, and Brian Yawe. It's a real good, solid team that Gavin captains, and there's a bit of everything in there. You know, it just brings them all together and makes for an exciting competition. Mark Kahn, as you can see, they're the captain of the Stingers. He's got Sean Veal, Rachel Venneker, the only lady rider in South African, champion apprentice of South Africa. Robert Carty, very useful rider. Gareth Wright knows his way around the KwaZulu-Natal tracks. Gabriel Pitteser, an apprentice with a bright future ahead of him. Donald Gearson, we just saw him win the first race, and they made up also of uh, Kanye Sakai who comes in and has got one or two decent rides here tonight. Moving forward now is Imslali and Cinnamon Blush to complete the lineup. We're just about ready. And uh, where they go. Mark Kahn, the captain of the Stingers, has got Royal Oasis right on the outside. And Cinnamon Blush is coming home hard on the outside. But at Sneakers Silk with a narrow advantage. Mark Kahn trying for all he's worth on Royal Oasis. Cinnamon Blush coming the outside. But still at Sneakers Silk in front. And Sneakers Silk is going on to beat. Mark Kahn's mount, Royal Oasis with Cinnamon Blush third place. And possibly... Truba Dix coming through late onto the scene to grab the fourth placing for the Stingers, but what a good win. Here's the unofficial result. Kelvin Abib, Sneaker Silk, the winner. Mark Kahn, Royal Oasis second. Tristan Godden, Cinnamon Blush third. Corne Orfa, Truba Dix fourth. Robert Carty, Royce Caviar fifth. Then Diego de Gavea, Musha Rea, Rachel Venica, disappointing performance from him, Slali. And Francois Herald chasing time. They were always at the rear of the field. And as you can see, it's Kajimas from Stingers, from Kajimas, from Stingers, Stingers, Kajimas, Stingers, and Kajimas. That's how they ran. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm standing here in the crowd in Durban, South Africa. Guys, are you having fun? Yeah! <laughs> the crowd is electric. Everyone is screaming for their favorite team. As you can see, we have the Gauteng Kajimas and we have the Cape Stingers. Now, 
I know that Alex Cage is standing by with an interview. Mish, it's good to see you. How exciting is this? Oh my goodness, you know, we got a good vibe at yeah. home last week. On course, it's amazing. Uh, you've got to try and split yourself between the horses going down to the start, the horses that are coming into the parade yeah. ring, and uh, my goodness, it yeah. really gets you on your toes. Right, let's talk about a little bit of the strategy for the evening. So uh, we know that the Kojimas chose to double up the next race. They've chosen a non carded advantage of eight points and got a five-point scratched horse. Do you think that kind of factored into their strategy for the evening? Uh, I did, you know, but uh, you know, if, if you look at what, what our double points race is, I think that will definitely definitely add to our tally at the end of the evening. And um, yeah, I think we might just have one or two points above them at the end of the night. The gates fly. They're away and racing and Gavin Larina is punching out Captain Who but getting away smartly towards the outside of that one is the grey Sekulu and Sekulu's gone off to lead right down the inside Quick Star and Sean Veal Gavin Larina between horses and Captain Who and wider out in the pink colours this is Lord Wiley and right of passage passage of power passage of power and Lord Wiley these are the two now it's a double up race for the Kajimas but it's a win for the Steelers, and it's Lord Wiley that wins it from Passage of Power, and possibly Captain Who back in third. See, this is what we want to see. That's Wendy. Now, she's shouting home because she's the trainer, not because she's the captain tonight. Yeah, that's Wendy <laughs> shouting away with Ian Howard, the two of them. There's the unofficial result. The winner, number two, Lord Wiley for the Stingers. Second, number five, Passage of Power for the Stingers. Captain Who back in third for Gavin Larida. Sukulu, Kojima's third and fourth, Quickstar. For the Stingers back in fifth, then came Night Warrior. Winning's a very infectious thing, is it not? <laughs> it's something we love to happen, and when it comes, we take it up. And... Congratulations to Donald Getz and Wendy Whitehead, and of course, Dr. Nick Labashane, who is the owner of Lord Wiley. And it's a huge race for the Stingers, first and second, but let's find out more. <laughs> Have a look here in the final official results for race number three. Uh, the Cape Stingers really did fantastically well to steal those double up points away from the Gauteng Gajimas. So very, very well done to the Cape Stingers. This is the official race standings at the moment. The Gauteng Gajimas sitting with 229 points and the Cape Stingers just trailing behind with 103. So why this is very important is because the Cape Stingers still have their double up race, which is race number five. What do you think of GTH so far? Well, I think it's an amazing concept. Uh, it's so exciting to have this kind of vibe at races. We haven't seen this many people in a long time. Sure. So it's super exciting. Everyone's amped um, and it seems to be like a concept that will take off. And listen, you guys are flying tonight. I know the Gauteng Kojimas are, uh, are ahead. Just, just by the way, and I'm a little bit upset about that. You can see I'm supporting the Gauteng Kojimas. Don't fight me on this. But uh, you still got race five coming up and that's your double up uh, race. Are you excited for it? Yes, I will. Looking forward to it. Of course, I'm riding. So we're hoping to really bash on the points and uh, put you people back in your place. <laughs> <laughs> Race four. Is it going to be Gajimas? Is it going to be the Stingers? And away they go. The Stingers got the best of the start. Lundy Island starting to progress. All of a sudden, Boogie Shoes is in the race. And here's Boogie Shoes and Kelvin Abib storming up the outside to come and grab Inkalazinzi. And it's going to be Boogie Shoes dancing her way to victory to claim it for the Gajimas. But a big run back in second for the Stingers in second. Back in third was top honours for the Gajimas. And both Flower Season who ran second. And of course the winner, Boogie Shoes came from the rear of the field, notwithstanding the tailwind because perhaps they went a little bit too strong up front in Kalazinzi. There's the result, Graham. And now, of course, uh, these points are starting to mount, mount up. But again, that yellow, you can't keep them off the top. Boogie Shoes is back with Kelvin Habib and the Knight Riders alive. The Gauteng Gajimas are really starting to assert their authority. Well done, Kel. Thank you very much. Yeah, look, uh, well done to Mr. Rich and to his whole team. You know, there was a good pace on, and uh, when I asked this, was also quick, and she gave it to me really well, and uh, yeah, won a very nice race. Pierre said a really, really fast pace for you. Yeah, yeah, the pace was on, as I said, and, and um, yeah, it was beautiful for me. I was stuck in a little bit of a pocket, but I mean, the gap open really gave it to me, and uh, won a really good race. Well done to everyone involved with this horse. And the Gauteng Gajimas are really getting into gear now. I do believe that the Stingers were second, and I think the third place went to the, to the Gajimas, but we're going to have to wait and see in front. They've got all the action, 
all of stats and figures, let's go back and join Korea. This is Global Team Horse Racing and we are pleased to introduce you to GTH's Junior League. Now, this kiddies program is set to launch around the country for kids of all ages. The GTH Junior League has successfully trialed in Johannesburg, Gauteng. What is it exactly? Well, it's a graded curriculum aimed at children of all ages and experience levels. It's a standard program that is due to be rolled out countrywide. The entry-level program introduces kids to horses, horse riding and horse care. It's available from participating riding schools. It gets kids off their tablets and exercising in the fresh air while learning and interacting with others. Well, that was a taste of what kids can expect at the GTH Junior League. You don't need to own your very own horse, you just need to sign up. So head on over to gthracing.co.za and click on Junior League and register your interest. As you can see on your screen right now, it is the official race results for race number four. A very big congratulations to Calvin Habib. Much needed points for him before tonight's Night Rider competition, taking first place with Boogie Shoes, 23 points. And then, of course, the Cape Stingers coming in second. As I can see, the canter pass is happening at the moment. Graham, Neil, you got information for us, right? Well, what we love about this and bringing you the action here on Supersport is that it comes thick and fast. Graham's got a couple left to load here, and he's going to call the next one. We're just about all set to go. 1,400 meters. I'm expecting Chatterton's keeper to go forward. I'm expecting Baby's keeper to go forward. There they go. Baby oh Shoes God. dropped out smartly oh. along the inside. As they swing for home with about 400 meters left to race. Lady Legend, the one in front. Gavin Lorene has got his sights set on that one with Good Time Guy. Punching through down the middle of the track is Mr. Fitz. And Mr. Fitz is coming on strongly along the inside for Gareth Wright. And is Mr. Fitz now ready to cause the upset? Dock of the Bay is flying into Brian Nawu. Dock of the Bay along the inside of Rick Outsider. And Dock of the Bay is going to sweep through to win it. Dock of the Bay wins it from Mr. Fitz. And it'll be photos all round for third and fourth, but what a performance by Doc of the Bay and Brian Nayar. Graham, of course, for all our viewers on Super Bowl, this is one of the great things is that it's easy to watch because you can see straight away whether the yellow team or the red team are getting the points. And here, it's a red victory, but two yellows. I thought is much closer, and it was actually yeah, Chatterton's keeper who uh, got nosed down. This is obviously down. still the unofficial result, but Doc of the Bay for Brian Nayar with the winner. A brilliant win over here for Brian Yao. He's aboard Sean Terry's inmate, Dock of the Bay. Congratulations, Brian. Great to see you back in the winner's enclosure. A very, very balanced ride. Well done. Yes, thank you so much, sir. And, uh, you know, a big thank you again to, to Mr. Terry. You know, he gave me easy, easy instructions. You know, he told me just to don't panic, just drop him out, and he'll run a, he'll run a good finish for me. The Jimas are still in contention. Lots of lots to fight for. And, of course, the big man's here, Devin Hefe. He's delighted with your victory. Yes, you know, a big, big, big thank you to Mr. Hefe and to Mr. Del Pesce and the whole uh, Hollywood syndicate. Welcome back to GTH Racing. It is a beautiful night in Durban, South Africa. The fans have really come out uh, and enjoying the racing. Looking at the official race results for race number five. Beautiful, beautiful point stealing happening from the Kauteng Gajimas because the Cape Stingers did choose to double up that round. That is why you see Gareth Wright coming in second place with 36 points. If we look at overall team standings for tonight, the Kauteng Tengajimas just, just falling behind, 10 points behind the Cape Stingers. It's 10 points as we go in to the last few races. 
Well, Graham, it could come down to Calvin Habib. I mean, it could be a milestone for him tonight with uh, three winners, if he can get it right, and take a huge step forward to the milestone of tonight's Knight Rider. Not yep. that he's the only one with the chance, Diego de Gavea. We saw Frank Robinson giving the instructions for a love bomb. So who do you think scored the best points in the Harker? Who, who did you think was the best Harker, the Reds or the Yellows? Stingers for me. Uh, Just I think marginally. the Kojima, so we'll sit on opposite sides of the <laughs> fence in judging the Hawker. Just two left to load now. Kuma coming forward. We're just about ready to go. 1,400 metres and they fired away. Got them away to a pretty good start and going up looking for the lead is Tread Swiftly and Tristan Godden. They go out in front. Kuma towards the outside of it. Moving up strongly between runners is Arctic Tune. Right towards the outside is Arctic Drift. And that is the one with the white cap. But in the meantime, it is Tread Swiftly. And Tread Swiftly's gone clear for Tristan Godin and Peter Musket. Silver Tycoon is still right there. Master of Destiny and Sean Veal coming out the pack for the Stingers. And Wider on the outside also. But it's still in front. Tread Swiftly and Master of Destiny, maybe. It's close. It goes down to the wire. It's Tread Swiftly or Master of Destiny. It'll go to the judge. It's very close. I initially thought that Trent Swiftly had done enough, but maybe Sean Veal and Master of Destiny has collared Tristan Godden's mount. Obviously tonight uh, we, we thought we were on the back foot with our rides, but uh, the boys are giving it their all. And uh, I think it's down to these last two races, we, we've got to give it our best. Absolutely, and we're chatting to... Uh, whoops, so there is he. But we all good. Thanks. That's why Gav. That's why Gav's the pro. <laughs> He's got the reactions. Uh, I was showing to Michelle a little bit earlier, and I know there's a little bit of a friendly banter between the two of you, if I can say that much. Uh, I mean, what do you what, what what are you going to be saying to race seven and race eight now? What are you going to be saying to the guys? Obviously, they got the favourites in this race, but um, we've got to give it our best shot, and uh, we can only do our best. Absolutely. Well, listen, you've got race seven, race eight left. We are going to be doubling up in race eight. I know the bell's going, so you racing now. I know you're going to be off. Good luck. We'll chat to you a little bit later. Thanks. Uh, Thank so you. there we go. That's Gavin Lorena. He is, of course, uh, the team captain for the Gauteng Gajimas and also acting as the manager this evening. He's waited so patiently up here for Sean Veal, and I've got great news for you. You might even get a hug from Michelle. <laughs> you know, just well done to the Cape Stingers, you know. We're fighting hard there. This was always my best ride today. I was very confident today. I'd been disappointed if we got beat. So well done to all the sponsors for the opportunity. Obviously to our coach, Michelle. Well done. And thanks to the owners, you know, for the opportunity. And my boss and his wife and our team. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take a look at these official results. And Sean Veal getting some really good points. 23 points for that win. Uh, and then Tristan Gooden coming in second. 18 points for him. And then Cape Stingers coming in third and fourth. So very important points for them if they want to take this evening's series. We got our st team standings for the evening. The Gauteng Gajimas, 273 points. And the Cape Stingers currently in the lead with a beautiful 296 points. I'm very happy because the Cape Stingers are currently in the lead. And we have two more races coming up this evening. Remember, race number eight is a double up race for both teams. We have been having a great time here in Durban, South Africa. And we've been experiencing true hospitality at the Riverside Hotel in Durban North. really is a beautiful experience that we've had at the Riverside Hotel and Durban Vice, our preferred uh, vehicle partner for the GTH racing series. We're actually staying at the hotel and I must say if you are an Instagrammer, they have some really beautiful Instagram spots including all the lights in the hotel. Check out my Instagram if you want to see some photos but it has been a beautiful time here in Durban, South Africa and thank you to VW Vice and the Riverside Hotel. Uh, Graham, Neil, you got all the information for our next race? Neil Tovey's in town, former... He loves his racing. He, he loves does, his doesn't racing. He? Neil loves his racing. Give us a wave if you can hear us there, Neil. And as always, the action is coming thick and fast. We've still got two races to go. We're going to stay with you on Supersport for this. Great to see Neil Tovey here, as you say. I'll tell you what, I wish I could have a chat with Neil earlier on. We were talking about Paul Lafferty. Yes, there's certain Terry Payne sitting at home. Can't even remember 1966. But Terry, if you are listening, and I think he is watching because he's been sending me some messages on WhatsApp over and enjoying the team racing here at Global Team Horse Racing. Yes, Terry, you did lift the trophy in 1966. 
Wait for them to get into a good line. 1,600 metres and uh, away they go for the seventh and it's going to be a big race for the Kojimas if they want to stay in touch with the Stingers who've got a commanding lead. Gavin Lorena comes through on political party. Wiley Riley's doing the chasing. Mutariqui is down towards the inside. Between them is uh, over towards the inside Duchess of Gold. But it is still political party in front. Running on strongly is Witski. Political party and Witski. And Witski for Rachel Vendica. Witski wins it from political party. Poor run from Wiley Riley, beaten a long way at the end. But Rachel Vendica has done it for the Stingers and for the ladies. And on Witski, she's done it for Sean Veal and Michelle Ricks, whom we can see there. Rachel Venneker, the girl of the moment, on a horse called Witski for Doug Campbell, Glenn Hodges, a beautifully judged ride, and uh, your, your team are absolutely in awe of your performance. Thank you. Um, yeah, I galloped this horse a while ago for Mr. Campbell, and the way he worked, I said, I think this is the right race for him, and he did everything spot on. And you've, you've given Gavin Lorena something to think about, and he was almost home and host. Yeah, I think he might have thought that, but, uh, you know, the yellow come to sting. <laughs> Rachel was a little bit more patient on Witski, Witski and came through to grab him close to the line and draw clear and win it. 1,600 metres, the Kojimas need a massive result. Got them away to a pretty level beginning. Down towards the inside, Crazy Blue starts to become a threat. Also moving up very strongly now is number one, Shape of You, and Shape of You's coming through with Tristan Godin down towards the inside. And in the pink cab also on the far side is number seven, Lucky Miss. Lucky Miss and Shape of You. Here on the outside is Bella Sacone for Neil Toby. Here comes Bella Sacone launching an attack. Bella Sacone on the outside, going to get all desperately close desperately close we've got two Gajimas and we've got a single stingers involved in a three-way go in the photo finish I thought Neil Toby's number four Balasacom that I fancy might just have got the upper hand over shape of you and lucky miss there is Michelle Ricks I think she's probably done enough for her team but she won't be counting her chickens until they hatch with the official result yeah it could be it could be for the Knight Riders. Because Calvin will be disappointed uh, only I, from... I don't think the Knight Riders get the double points. No, they don't get the, se the double points, but of course, Sean's second winner tonight. We had Neil Tovey being interviewed. Andrew Bond is leading in. Is it the right result? Is it the winner? Let's find out from Andrew. With a naked eye, it looked very, very much like Sean Veal for the second time this evening has managed to deny the Gajimas of victory. Well done, Mr. Veal. Outstanding performance. Yeah, you know, thanks. Well done to Mr. Leff and his team. They were very bullish. And uh, I just had to get into the right rhythm. She, was a little, she would have been a little bit unlucky if she got beat. Because top of the straight, she got a little bit tight. But then when the gap opened, she quickened up. Well done to Mr. Leff and his whole team. And to all the sponsors, well done. It was a fantastic evening. Well, it couldn't have been better because Jan Lafferty is here all the way from the United Kingdom, and so too is Holly, so too is Neil and his team. It's a, a wonderful day for Paul Lafferty, who's been able to land his second winner of the evening. So too this, the case for Sean Veal, and it really is very, very close for those minor placings. It could have gone anyway. Neil Andrews hit the nail on the head. Let's go back and get the exact score right now from Korea. Alex, I'm really sorry, but I think you might be out of the points for tonight. Listen, we'll get to that in a moment, but I think well done to Neil Toby and, and the group, and yes. I saw Paul there as well. Incredible, incredible ride. I don't know why ride. I'm so stressed. My team's not even here today, but I'm the most stressed right now. Good luck. But it seems as if it just might be the Cape Stingers. Yeah, I think I think that's the the new aspect of of, of this of this challenge is that uh, the sport's always one on one and one, and and now now it's become a team sport. I was sitting in the parade and I wasn't quite sure if I was watching IPL or Formula <laughs> One. Listen, I've just got to ask though, Michelle, how come you only put the Cape Stingers jersey on when you found out that you guys are winning? Because you had another top on, and then you had that Cape Stingers jersey on the side there. It's still underneath, don't worry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. A very big congratulations to the Cape Stingers taking it by 30 points. 415 to the Kauteng Gajimas and 445 to the Cape Stingers. Alex, this is quite disappointing for you because this means 
that the Gauteng Gajimas are potentially out of the running. Yeah, it is quite sad. I mean, we'll catch up with Gav and with Mark Hahn in a little bit as they come closer to the stage. They've just got to be finished uh, weighing in. But it is quite sad that the Gauteng Gajimas unfortunately look like they have been knocked out for GTH Season 1. But oh. yeah, look, the exciting thing is this isn't the first and only one. There will be more in the future. So you best believe the Gauteng Gajimas, if they are knocked out, we will be back. Don't worry. So if you're sitting at home and you, you, you're a little bit curious how this works, the team standings are currently on your screen. So the KZN Royals have done one race meeting, the Cape Stingers have done one, with the Gauteng Gajimas doing two. As you can see there, because the Gauteng Gajimas have lost both of their race meetings, they have zero points. And the Kwazulu Royals and the Cape Stingers have two. So that's why it looks like they are out of the running. However, however, if someone does tie or there is a loss along the line, it could come down to those final points that you're seeing on your screen. 863 for the Gauteng Gajimas, 445 for the Stingers and 452 for the KZN Royals. Let's have a look at our Knight Rider leaderboard uh, on the screen at the moment. And well done to all the riders. Um, I mean, Gabriel, Brian, Tristan, Mark, also there, Gavin Larina. We were chatting to him a little bit earlier. Uh, he was super excited to get on top of that leaderboard. Calvin, look how close those points are. 57, sure. 56, 57, 58, 59. I mean, those are so close. But of course, Sean just absolutely dominating, which you're going to chat to in a moment. I mean, you've been riding since 1985, 16,000 races under the belt, more than 16,000 races. This is exciting for the boys. This is lovely. It's just uh, wonderful. It's a privilege to be the captain of, of such a wonderful team. And uh, they did a great job tonight. And uh, we went out there fighting hard today. We came from behind and I'm just so blessed. I got my family here. Well done to Michelle. My two boys are here to, to be here with me. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity and well done to GT for the nice event they put on. And to the Cape Stingers. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's it. We've got a cash prize for you as well. So congratulations. A big round of applause for Mr. Sean Hill, ladies and gentlemen, our night rider. Well, this brings us to the end of this evening's broadcast. Remember to tune in next week when the Stingers face off against the Royals. Also, don't forget to die rise the 2nd of September when we're back here in Durban, South Africa for the final. From myself, Korea Ganga, Alex Cage and Hope Mbele, we'll see you next week. Good night.